So here we are in our container looking for supplies and parts. This is where everything ended up when we moved down here so early in the spring. <laughs> Got new lights. Yeah, and we actually have a small little solar collector and inverter in, inverter that uh, we can put and set up in here with lights. Just haven't had a time to get it done yet. I'm going in the back. She's going in the back. So uh, I'll explain this here in a couple of minutes. Hey everyone, this is Martin and I am in the utility control building and where the inverter charger is, where the charge controller is for the solar panels and where the batteries are. And we're gonna be stepping this thing up a notch today by uh, activating a feature on the charge controller, not the charge controller, the inverter charger that um, is in this. I'm not sure if it's in all inverter charges it, it might be but you can set the priority on where it pulls its power from whether it's from the uh, pulling it from the batteries or pulling it from the grid or pulling it from a generator down underneath here the battery supply is these two cables right here that go up into there the output is a little sloppy but the output is this one that actually goes over to the cabin and this cable here right now is going to a generator and this cable and these lugs right here allow for um, the inverter charger to charge the battery banks if the solar is not doing its job and so I've got the batteries down here and this blue wire is just a temperature control or a temperature sensor on the battery and then the rest of them are either coming from the uh, the charge controller or going up to the inverter and so what we're going to do this inverter will you can set the priority on it to whether it pulls from the batteries or first or whether it pulls from the grid first or whether it pulls from a generator and so in one way you can set turn around here so in one way if you have a system that you want to be on the grid and set it up with a solar plant and solar battery backup then uh, you set the priority for the grid and the backup would be the solar and or the batteries and so when you set it up that way you're constantly pulling from the grid but if the grid goes down for some reason then it will automatically switch over and start pulling energy from the batteries now we are setting it up exactly the opposite we want it to pull from the batteries first unless the batteries get depleted to the point where the inverter tries to shut down and if that's the case um, the secondary backup will either um, pull straight from the grid to recharge the batteries or it will if you have it connected to a generator um, you can uh, power up the batteries or you can power uh, the house or the property or whatever you've got um, with a generator now if you have a we have just a regular generator and so you have to come out and manually start it whenever you want to to charge the batteries with the generator or run the house off the generator but, uh, but this system will also start an auto start generator if the battery bank gets low enough to where the inverter would normally shut off. It will just autom automatically start an auto start generator to replenish the batteries. 
So what we're going to do is we're actually going to, I don't have an auto start generator. I'm not sure that if I did have one that I would use that feature just because my son-in-law had a, an auto start generator one time that there was a little hiccup in the electricity and it started the generator and it didn't shut off. So it was running all day. It was running a generator all day and using up his fuel when he wasn't there. So I will probably keep it as a manual operation on the generator. But what we want to try to do today is make a method so that when we're running full time on the batteries, whenever the batteries deplete to the point or like today where we've had no sun, that when you get two or three days without sun, our batteries will deplete to the point where the inverter will kick off. But what I want to do is be able to have it so that it's plugged into the grid so that it runs 100% off the batteries, unless the batteries get depleted, then it will kick over and recharge the batteries off of the grid until the batteries are full and then it'll switch back over to the battery power again. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. Um, I'm going to do it. I'll show you how I'm doing it. I'm going to do it with a couple of outlets that we can either choose to plug into a generator charging system or to the grid charging. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is separate out this cord from the rest of this. Um, these two go down to the battery bank, and that's where the power is pulled up to the inverter from the batteries. Um, this one is the one that goes to the generator currently, and so I'm going to detach that one so that we can work on this one. These will stay intact. putting this on here and so this will end up plugging into either the generator outlet or the grid outlet one or the other depending on which one we want to use so there's a green I don't know if you can see that that'll be the ground which is also marked with a G there on the ground so that one is the ground over here on the other side is a W which is the white wire which is also the neutral so that one will go into here and then the red and the black one will go into the two other spots uh, of this outlet. And that will become the plug that plugs into either the generator box or the grid uh, power box. So what will be going up on the wall here is an outlet like this to match this. And if you look on the back side of there, there's the green, which is the ground. On the opposite end over here is the white or the neutral. And then it's got the, the two hot uh, wire screws uh, right here. So we'll be wiring this up next. We'll be wiring two of these, one that goes to the generator, one that goes to the power panel coming in from the road. You know, I should mention while I'm hooking this up is that, um, you know, I make, uh, you know, I, I make statements every now and then saying that we're off grid and we are, but we're not completely. And uh, what it is, is that we do have some tools and equipment that's a little bit big for me to be comfortable running everything off of our solar plant. Um, so for that reason, we went ahead and had ourselves connected to the grid, but we kind of interrupted it between the transformer and the meter and the cabin. The first place that the electricity goes from the grid to our place is through this building. And this building we've got set up so that we can basically, if we want to shut off completely from the grid, we can basically flip a switch here and it's done. If, uh, if we want to be able to use the grid in some capacity we can do that too um, I've mentioned before on some of the other videos that we have about I would say about 80% of our cabin is run on this battery bank here and does a really good job and we've got about 20% of it as a couple of dedicated circuits that go in there that are connected to the grid and but if we lose power on those 
for any reason, we have enough power off of these battery banks and the inverter to take care of everything that's in the cabin. So really we're set up so that, I mean, technically, no, we're not completely 100% off grid all the time. Uh, but if the power went out, we could easily function that way without any problem at all. So it's just giving ourselves the most options possible and still be able to power our bigger equipment um, with regular grid power when we want to. And who knows, at some point when I have more confidence in my understanding of the solar equipment, we've built up our system to the point where it can handle it, we may disconnect entirely and just run strictly off grid at that point. But right now we're still running kind of a hybrid system, but most of it, the biggest majority of the power is coming from the solar cells and the battery banks here. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and a share, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. See you next time.